Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. Today we've got a fun review, the We Are One Arrival. This is a 150, 160 mil, 29 inch wheeled enduro bike, made in Canada, designed for being thrashed. Let's see how it did. So We Are One Composite started out making wheels that were very unique, also made in their Kamloops BC headquarters. And um, after developing a cult-like following with their kick-ass wheels, they decided that why not try and make a frame? Um, and holding true to their ethos of sourcing everything locally, everything on this frame and bike from the hardware linkages, like the machining, the Cerakote treatment, everything is sourced within a radius of their office is built and assembled right there in Kamloops. And that's something that we are huge fans of. Um, obviously it does play a, a role into the price of these bikes as they are not cheap, but uh, when you get the performance to back it, doesn't hurt quite so bad when you're helping support a, a small North American made product. So getting into the bike itself, we are one has done a few interesting design elements uh, with the bike. Obviously the, the look of this thing is I don't know if I could say undeniably, but I haven't met a person yet who doesn't love the look of this bike. It is an attention grabbing bike. I think the stealthy uh, branding or lack of branding definitely helps. It draws people to it. They wanna know what it is. Uh, the, the shapes of the tubes, the frame geometry, all very sharp, solid looking bike. Um, 157 Super Boost rear end. That's something that some brands have done and drawn quite a bit of criticism from. Uh, we Are One has a, a, a bit of an argument as to why they chose to do it. Um, something that is neat though about going with that Super Boost rear end, they have run a uh, standard boost crank set. So basically what We Are One was hoping to achieve was a stiffer, better built frame and wheel so your snappiness, stiffness in the corners is gonna be great. However, by running the bottom bracket and crank spacing that they do, they are actually able to give a pretty optimized chain line for these big wide range 12 speed cassettes, right? A majority of your time is gonna be spent climbing up in those uh, lower gears. So having this setup gets out that rear wheel out a little wider in the back end. However, it also keeps those cranks at a narrower Q factor so you can have a more comfortable, efficient ride and not wear your drivetrain out um, quite as quickly. So, uh, you know, sure, I guess you can't carry over your wheels that maybe you had before. You might have some trouble finding the right hubs, but uh, again, I think that there's some sound logic and reasoning behind We Are One's move to go with that Super Boost hub and uh, the ride performance backs it up. So. Uh, maybe we might be sold. All right, so uh, moving forward into the suspension link, which they use two short uh, co-rotating links to manage that 150 millimeters of travel. This bike, I would say, is on the firmer, stiffer end of the spectrum. Um, it's not that soft, wallowy, plush, you know, buttery, smooth feel, but it's definitely not harsh or abusive like some VPP bikes, say from Intense might feel. Um, it just has a kind of a nice, firm feel underfoot. Um, the, the feedback is there a little bit, but not enough to really unsettle or unnerve you as you're pounding through like really rough, choppy terrain. But it's just enough to let you know that, you know, the bike's working, you're hitting terrain at speed. That I think could be, uh, a pro for some riders and a con for others. It really depends on your local terrain and what you're riding. Um, during the test process, we took this bike uh, down to Southern California and rode a lot of my home trails in, in Thousand Oaks and Simi Valley, which have got high speed embedded sandstone. I took it to Sedona for the bike fest where it is a lot of rock as you probably are aware. Um, and then we, we rode it here in Bend, Oregon on some nice softer dirt. We hit some jump lines on this thing. We really put this thing through a, a pretty wide variety of paces. And um, I think this bike really excels in flow trails, a little bit smoother trails, jumpy, poppy terrain. Um, I absolutely could charge, you know, some of the stuff out in Simi Valley and just hammer through rock gardens. Uh, but again, compared to other really softer, more supple bikes, it, it was a little bit more tiring, but 
Again, every bike is gonna have its kind of ups and downs or, or kind of ideal elements. And I think this bike really excels better than many other bikes in the right terrain. Um, once you get it where it wants to be, it's hard to find a bike, I think, that rides as well as this. Um, snapping in and out of corners, the lightness, of, like it is unbelievably how a light and playful bike. Uh, I mean, you could come into a corner and just for fun, just kind of compress and like pick your feet up and pick the back of the bike up mid corner and just totally change lines with the back end. You don't even have to like yank the front end to do it. You can just make those adjustments with the entire bike or just the back wheel. Um, it is a ton of fun to jump, pre-hop stuff. Like if you're a playful sort of a rider and you really enjoy that active feel where you're just snapping and bopping around, uh, this might be one of the most fun bikes in this category that uh, we've ridden in a long time. Uh, I think We Are One has done an awesome job there. Uh, from a pedaling performance standpoint, um, that, that slightly stiffer, you know, platform in the suspension actually does quite well when it comes to pedaling this bike. Uh, I still found myself reaching for that climb switch when stuff was getting real long and grueling. But uh, something I will note uh, about the climbing is that this bike is rather low and uh, especially in some of the rockier trails that we rode, um, definitely found ourselves hitting pedal and crank arms a little bit. Um, so for what it's worth, you might want to compare the geo chart on this bike and see what that bottom bracket height is compared to your current bike and see if that could be something um, worth noting, right? I'm thinking guys in, in Southern California, Phoenix, Arizona, um, other real rocky technical areas in Utah, you might, you might wanna take note, possibly run some shorter cranks. Um, there it is. So We Are One uses a size one, two, three um, sizing structure for these bikes and their uh, claim to fit riders from five foot three to six foot four. So we picked the size two, which has a 475 reach. Uh, if you guys have seen many of our videos, you'll know that is my favorite reach number. Um, 475 is perfect, 480 is also great. Um, so solid all around, comfortable lengthwise, but not too long to where it's sluggish again aids in the playful nature of this bike. The bike has a 77 degree seat tube angle and a 64 degree head tube angle. It has a uh, 37 millimeter bottom bracket drop. Uh, the chain stays on our size two are 441 millimeter. They are size specific, uh, so larger and smaller bikes will have a little bit different chain stay size. Um, something else worth noting is that the stack height on this bike is relatively low at 621 millimeters for our size two. Um, so uh, we've got, you know, maximum number of steer tube spacers on there. If you are a rider who likes a low front end, you're going to love this bike. Um, otherwise, you know, you might have to run a lot of steer tube spacers. But I think We Are One knows how this bike performs best and uh, is trying to, to bias riders a little bit farther forward to get that weight distribution where it needs to be. Um, I'm totally happy with it. I never really felt that like it was too low or that I was a little nervous as to, you know, how, how dropped that front end was. It, it was totally reasonable, comfortable for me. Um, I didn't love the, I guess the look of the stem and the handlebars. They're a little bit strange looking, but um, they work fine and they come on the bike. So there's no need to spend more money, right? Especially when you're dropping this much coin, I would probably cut them down if I were gonna be keeping this bike much longer. But um, aside from that, Pretty solid cockpit setup, great feel. It's comfortable, uh, efficient, confident, inspiring. I hate using that term, but um, it really makes you wanna just charge the trail ahead. Like, uh, and also it has you looking for any little place that you can pop or get some air or try to style it out uh, as best you can because it's just a very fun bike. So um, there are two different uh, builds available in this bike. Um, depending on whether you want expensive or super expensive, uh, you can kind of get into that. Highlights of the build for us were the Magura brakes. We, we actually liked those quite a bit. We like the We Are One wheels a lot. Um, you know, we kind of mistakenly blamed the We Are One wheels in another bike review um, for being a little stiff and harsh. 
Uh, after that came out, we found out that there in fact was an issue with the bike's hardware causing the rear suspension to not work. So that stiffness and harshness was actually coming from the bike. So um, after fixing that on the bike and getting this bike shortly thereafter, we realized that these wheels are actually really awesome to ride. Um, especially down in Sedona, there were some uh, sections of trail where I was just trying to follow, uh, you know, um, some riders that were far better and far faster than me and sending stuff blind and landing in off camber, rocky, chunky terrain. And the, the compliance and the composure out of the wheels was really awesome. They didn't um, make any sounds despite how harsh the landings were. Uh, they didn't squirm too much, but they also didn't beat me up and bounce me offline. So big fan of the wheels. Uh, the suspension tune is solid, I think. Great job with the shock. Obviously the Fox Fork up front, that 38 is uh, one of our favorite units out on the market. So all in all, a solid bike, one that we really, really like. Like I said, the only real feedback I would suggest is that it's, it's a little bit firm um, and a little bit stiff if you're regularly bashing into rocks all the time, but definitely better than a lot of other bikes out there with uh, some of those stiffer suspension designs. So killer bike all around, Definitely one of our favorite rides this year. Um, we are one composites has done a great job. Made in Canada, locally sourced, uh, lifetime warranty. They will uh, repair any damaged bike and get it back to you for just the cost of the repair. They're not trying to make money off that. So uh, plastic free shipping, really environmentally mindful um, processes that they're using. They want to keep this bike in your hand for a long time and it shows. So uh, all in all, we got to applaud We Are One for making a great bike and doing a good job uh, as best they can for the environment. So thank you guys very much for watching this review. We appreciate it. Leave any questions or comments you have down below. Of course, if you want to support the channel, we've got some awesome made in the USA jerseys that are in our web store, which we just restocked. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We would greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys very much. And we'll see you out on the trails.